welcome to Kate's Egg. This is the big surprise that you've been waiting for. It's a tractor. So you're going to get a tour of it and it's just come in right now. So that's very exciting. Here's the tractor. It's John Deere, of course. Are you excited, Dad? Well, that's fantastic. I am too. That is very low. That red line's the fuel level, and it should be all the way up there. The tractor just came in, and we're very excited. We're going to be using this tractor for seeding, so it was really important that it came in because we've started seeding now. My dad's very excited. I'm very excited, and hopefully it's a super good tractor. We're going to get a look inside. It's a 9630 John Deere tractor. Travis from Jerry Peters Trucking and he brought the tractor in so thank you. You're welcome. This is what the wheels that came in yesterday go on to. <laughs> Here's a little walk around overview while it's on the trailer. Pretty cool. First start of the new tractor. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Doesn't happen that often on the farm, does it, Dad? Right. <laughs> Every 10 years, okay. Yes, my dad tries to be very good to the tractors, as he said, changing, oh my goodness, here it goes. in the new tractor. So here's your first unofficial tour. A little bit dirty. We'll have to give it a wash. Power shift here. Ooh. Now we're backing it off the trailer. You can't really see. It's a little bit muddy. You can see out this window. This is exciting. So this is our first ride in it. To pump these up, can you just push the knob up? Cool. Close through here by the fuel pickup and the shop. Oh yeah, the AC works good. We're always gonna need to check that. How was the first ride in your new tractor feel, Dad? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, 
What an awesome tractor. My dad filled up the fuel. So it's looking a lot better here. It was down here when you first saw it come in. All right, now we're going to take a tractor tour of the tractor my dad just got. We're going to explain some of the different parts and aspects of the tractor. So I'm in the tractor right now. I'm in the cab seat. Dad just drove it to town because you're going to put the second, the duals on them, right? Right. They're actually those yellow big tires right over there. Basically, this is the throttle and this is the power still shift. Has, yeah, it still has the clutch. So okay. Yes. But you don't have to use it once you're moving. So that must be really helpful and nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Over here, we have air conditioning and just some of the cab controls. You've got lights, auto steer on the right. And what Darcy said he likes about these tractors, because we have another one sort of like it, but this one has 100 more horsepower. This tractor is a 9630 John Deere, and it has 530 horsepower, which is awesome. It doesn't have a PTO. We'll and yes, we're going to start it up. It has a buddy seat selling us right now, it's using about one gallon an hour at an idle. If you bring the throttle up, it'll use more fuel. As my dad's doing now. Yeah, that's acres, but we're not doing any right now. Temperature, block thing, that's how many RPMs it's matching. Up here. Up there is RPM, and that's RPM zone here on this. So 1180. And that's how many hours I put on it since I changed oil. 0.9 hours. So this is a small little monitor, kind of like we have in the combines. And then you're going to hook a big monitor up here for. On that, on that post. Yes. That right, post. it'll go right here so and. Be two monitors. Because yes. It's not a John Deere drill. It's so. a. Oh, really? So two big monitors hooked up? Yes, my dad has a flex coil drill and our other John Deere tractor is pulling a John Deere drill. It's with the monitor in the John Deere, but the flex coil doesn't, so you have to have its own monitor. Yes, and also the monitor will tell whoever's driving the tractor where they have seated and where they haven't, which is really important and also super helpful. It also says what part of the field you've been in. What did you look for when buying a tractor? Uh, horsepower to pull the equipment. The, What's the minimum horsepower? 400. So four and a quarter of the last one was, and they needed it. The more, the bigger the thing, the more horsepower you need. And it's good to have a little bit over. It doesn't hurt, and your tractor doesn't work quite so hard. So. And it doesn't wear out as soon. It's hard to say if your tractor. Yes, got the steering wheel, that's pretty nice. You have your mirrors to see your implement behind you, which is the drill, basically, and what the seats come out of. Got another one over there. What are you going to be using this tractor for mostly? Seating, mostly. Is there any other projects? It will be able to pull the rake, rake and that's good. So that's very exciting. I know my dad's super excited, I'm excited and it's a pretty cool tractor. It came from the Midwest, so that would have been crops like corn, and now it gets a whole different life of wheat and very dry weather and cold weather. Let's hope it stays together. Yes, that would be really helpful and super lucky because you never know what's going to happen when you get a tractor, even with the ones you have. You want to just make sure they keep running. And you don't even have to lock this tractor, Kate, because I bet you can't get in. <laughs> so yes. we'll find out. Okay, we will. We'll find out if I can get in the tractor. I guess it's kind of hard. We have a major surprise. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? We have never had a tractor with one of those. That is so cool. So when it's super sunny out, you can put this down and it definitely gets like that in the tractor. So that is just amazing, Dad. It's more like when it's low out, babe, and you're going into the sun. Yes, when you're, yeah, when you're going into the sun, like when it's sun, the sun's setting is when that's going to be perfect for and that's going to be so helpful and my dad just found providing that. You're going that way. Yes, providing you're going that way. I guess my dad would be correct with that. So now we're going to see if I can actually even get in this tractor, which is a big determiner. We'll see. Dad doesn't think I can. I think I can. Without falling off the other side. That's the goal. <laughs> Dad's going to shut the door to make sure it gets fully shut 
to its maximum. All right, now I'm going to see if I can get in the tractor. We'll see. Well, it's not gonna happen with one hand. And I have got it. I told you I could do it, Dad. One more. My thumb doesn't have that much muscle on it, Dad. I can't imagine that. It definitely needs two thumbs, so that's the magic trick to go like that to get it to open. Other than that, you'll think you're locked out. Thank you. So you got to see the tires, and these are them. They will be put on the tractor, so each wheel will have two tires. So there will, there will be eight tires total on the tractor, which is kind of crazy and definitely a lot. They're huge tires too. I'm five foot two, and they're way bigger than me. How much do you think those tires weigh, Dad? A couple thousand with the weights. Probably. A couple thousand with the weights, my dad thinks. How much do you think the tractor weighs? 39,000 pounds is how much the tractor weighs. Is that crazy or what? Final words on your new tractor? Hopefully the tires get on it and it gets back out so we can do something because it's no good the way it is. Yes, very true. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and got to learn a little bit more about the new tractor. I'm so excited and so is my dad. Okay, make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more farming videos and also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Twitter, Pinterest, and TikTok. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye!